Dear students, in this module we will continue building on our example for the UPGMA working. If you remember that the last module consisted of creating cl clusters from the sequences. And of course there is a chance that several clusters will be created that are not connected to each other. And this will result in two separate phylogenetic trees. But to create an overall phylogenetic tree, you will want to combine these trees into one. So let's see how that needs to be done. And the important thing here is that we will use the second component of the UPGMA algorithm. So please remember the distance calculation formula for the second component. So if you remember, we had this distance matrix with us and we created a cluster W and replaced E and V from the distance matrix with W. So this is our new distance matrix and we computed all the distances and filled it up. Now we want to create the phylogenetic tree. So B and F had a distance of 4 here. So we created a cluster X while the previous tree that we had calculated had V and W. So how do we connect these two trees? That is the question. So to connect these two trees, we have to connect X and W. So but before we do that, we have to create, we have to calculate the distance between W and X. Now to create the distance matrix and compute the distance between W and X. You remember the formula that the number of sequences in W multiplied by the number of sequences in X. So how many sequences we have in W? So this is the W cluster. We have A, D and E. This is 3 here. What is the number of sequences in X? So this is the cluster X. The number of sequences are 2. So here you go. And the sum of distances between all sequences in the clusters W and X. So if you look here between W and X, let me clear this up. Okay. So the distances between all sequences that lie within W and X. So in W and X, the first distance that you need to compute is between A and B, A and F. So here you go, the two. Next, you want to compute the distance between D and B, D and F. Next, you want to compute the distance between E and B and E and F. So, this is how this equation is computed. So, the value for each one of this distance is provided in our distance matrix. And you can simply read off the distance between A and B is 6. Here you go. The distance between A and F is 6. So here it is. And you continue filling this up. So 1 over 6 multiplied by 36. So this is equal to 6. So this is your final distance between X and W. So you create the axis till 3. And... You join this at 3, like that. So now you have the phylogenetic tree that is extended by connecting these two trees. So here you go. You name this new tree as Y and you update your distance matrix by inserting all of these distances and 
you have this new distance matrix. Of course, next you select the shortest distance and this time it will be 6. So W and X will be connected. And this is how the representation will be. So at 3, Y and X, Y will connect W and X. Now, how do we connect the last element in this tree? So remember, we had A, B, C, D, E, F. So we have A, D, E, B and F here, but C is still not connected. So we will connect this in the next module. But the important thing to learn from this module is how do we connect two different trees? So we simply take the sum of the distances between each element in the first cluster to the other elements in the second cluster or tree.